Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is the Road of the Record weekly review special for week four in the second year of the Gaming Decathlon competition. This week, I hit my first real world landmark. Super excited about that, uh, but we'll get to that in a moment. This week, I brought in 2,116 points. Only a small rise from last week, but two of the games did finish up a season last week. Uh, still short of the best round score of all time, but we are closing in on it. Just a couple week, uh, a couple hundred points shy of that best week score. Uh, the current virtual best has risen by right about 100 points to 2,443, and the all-time virtual best now at 4,600. And eight, and that's where that first real-world landmark has shown up at. Let's look at the ten games individually. The new player, Kenshi, seven points. It's one of those games where once I get a little ways into it, uh, the points should start accumulating a lot faster. But it's a game that's difficult to start out as. Uh, you begin with one character, one squad member in this RPG, sandbox RPG game. And you have to build and grow from there. Now I have a mod that allows you to have 256 squad members. But to get from 1 to 256 takes a lot of grinding, a lot of work, a lot of time. I'm up to 7 squad members. None of them have any additional points to get uh, the other 4 points available to each character. Uh, but we've got to start. Draft Day Sports College Basketball. Uh, New season started there, and it's late in the season. We are heading into the NCAA tournament for the next episode next week, uh, and we head in with a score of 420 already. There will be a new record, because just for making it to the March Badness tournament will be more points than the 30 we need to reset that record. Uh, so we're looking at a record haul this season. I would absolutely love to see us get into the Elite Eight. I would love to see us pass 500. Also important in that is I would love to see that score come up because we are just a couple weeks away from the launch of two editions later than this one. This is Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2017. The 2019 edition, I skipped over the 18 edition, is coming out here in just a couple weeks and I will start a new playthrough uh, when that one comes out. So this long-running series, I would love to see it end in a national championship or at least an Elite Eight. So to go from the very, very bottom to that high up the ladder uh, would be awesome uh, beforehand. At this point, though, I still have not cracked the Elite Eight. I've gotten as far as the Sweet 16, and we are right there. We are so close. But with that new one coming out, uh, time short. Uh, Motorsport Manager, 42 points. I picked up one point. I had a solid finish in a 10th and 11th. Oh, that's only worth one point in F1. Uh, that weak car that we have, we are competitive. We're consistently getting competitive, but right on the edge of earning points. Pro Cycling Manager, in the career mode, in the full team version, new season underway there, second season. Much, much better team, and in just... A short, short period of time, I already have 11 points. I had 43 all of last season, so I'm a quarter of the way through the points, a tenth of the way through the season. So I will have a lot more points than I had a season ago, for sure. Pro Cycling Manager in the Pro Cyclist mode. I have finally hit that elite status, that elite point. I'm number one in Super Prestige right now, overall. But the Tour de France is going on, and I'm not participating in that one this season. And as a result, uh, I will drop out of that ranking, but I am picking up points pretty quick because I got 98 points this week now at 420. Uh, and you can see on the right side, which we're not there yet, but you can see that huge jump as it moved up from ninth to fifth and the all-time virtual best. Uh, Football Manager 2019 was inactive, as was NBA 2K19, Dirt Rally, and F1 2018, the manager mode, were all inactive this week. The one that was active in the part-timers, was the career mode of F1 2018. And I made a sacrifice and some gains at the same time. Uh, I'm on that new steering wheel. It is a challenge. It is a real struggle, especially in F1 2018. Dirt Rally is going pretty well with that. Uh, I'm, I'm handling that one just fine. Uh, but F1 2018, the margins are so, so fine. There's no room for error. 
and those littlest mistakes cost you massively. You have to be so, so consistent there, especially with the AI difficulty level as high as it is. So I backed off the AI difficulty level by 10 to give me a little, little bit of room for error, and I'm still having troubles. <laughs> uh, but a couple of car upgrades just about made up the points that were lost. Uh, final note on F1 2018, the manager mode. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and retire that series because another Draft Day Sports game uh, has recently launched in college football. Somebody a while back asked me to do a series on that, and I've been wanting to do a series on that. And it'll be very similar to the basketball series uh, as I set that up. But uh, I'll be starting that next week. Now, on the right side, uh, big, big change in that all-time virtual best. Big jump in points, including that landmark. So let's go through that real quick here. Uh, no new score on the college basketball, though it will definitely be cracking the top three next week, like I said, with the, uh, the pending uh, March Madness appearance. But all the way from ninth, which the week before it was not even in the top ten, uh, but all the way up to fifth now is Pro Cycling Manager in that Pro Cyclist mode. So massive, massive jump over the last couple weeks uh, to get all the way up there. And it is very much on its way to getting into the top three at the very least, uh, if not higher before the end of this season as uh, I am really, really racking up some points now. Recently I just won the Tour de Swiss. Uh, and that came with a lot of super prestige points, which is where my points come from on that. Uh, Dirt Rally slips a spot just two points behind. Uh, FM is still nine points behind that. And then the inactive one of Minecraft uh, could see itself getting knocked out of the top ten before too long. Uh, the, other, uh, the other bottom three are all inactive, so they are definitely going to just go down, down, down. But that gives me four active games now with 400 or more points. That's that's nice. That helps. Uh, Motorsport Manager just outside of the top 10, but I'm a long, long ways off of cracking that record again since the promotion to F1 and such a weak car. Points are really hard to come by right now. 42 is, is not bad at all, uh, but I'm just about to the end of the season, so it's going to reset right back down to zero. Uh, and that car is still not competitive. I'm still a couple of probably seasons away uh, from really starting to rack up points and getting ahead of that 305. Uh, so right now the hope for the top 10 is F1 2018 in that career mode. And that's easier said than done right now. Uh, I'm getting a lot less R&D points at the moment uh, with getting used to the wheel. I just had Monaco this week though. Uh, that was super tough. Uh, so Canada, France, I should be able to do a little bit better in those races upcoming uh, and be able to accumulate some points. But that game's on part-time status, so it's not picking up anything real fast right now. Uh, so I might not see a change in that top 10 uh, too soon. Uh, but here is that real-world landmark. Okay, Gaming Decathlon based on the Olympic Decathlon. So the decathlon is an event, right? Ten sporting events. Each one is worth 1,000 points. So a total of 10,000 points is possible. No one's ever gotten to 10,000, okay? It's set up in such a way that that doesn't happen. The world record is held by Ashton Eaton, uh, who's an Oregon Duck, uh, like myself, and he was there at the same time I was. Uh, but the lowest record of any nation who has participated uh, at that highest level in the decathlon. The lowest record was Turks and Caicos, and that's uh, Alverdo Smith. He did it back in 2009, did that in St. Louis, and his total score for the 10 events was 4,536 points. So now that I have 4,608 points in the game decathlon, I am no longer in the cellar compared to the real world. So uh, there's that first landmark done and dusted. Next up for me will just be the uh, natural landmark of 5,000, and that's the halfway point. So I'm, I'm just about there on that. Uh, but that is just all-time virtual best. That week by week, if 
2000. I'm way, way short of that, so I've really got to get closer to mastering some games if, if I'm ever going to see a week-by-week -week score uh, surpass that. But that's going to do it for this review special. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, hope you hit that like button uh, based on making that achievement finally. And if you have not hit subscribe, definitely do that because another shout-out to my fans. I broke 100 here finally uh, and very happy about that. So I've got over 100 subscribers now. But that means there's still a long, long ways to go to get up there to be a reputable channel of any kind. But I'll keep plugging away and keep tuning in. Bye for now.